Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So today we're doing the Five of Cups and the Minor Arcana. We're going to look at the card together and then going to come back and talk about this in connection with Twin Flames because it may look like a card of pain, it may look like a sombre energy, a darker energy, but it's actually an opportunity to look for the good things in our life, focus on blessings and focus on love. So let's look at the card together and see what we feel what we sense and what we understand when we connect with this card. The Five of Cups. So you can see in the card, he seems to be in some kind of pain, some kind of grief, some kind of sadness. And we know that the number five is about change. So something needs to change within himself to move him forward. Now you can see in the distance there, over the water, there is a gorgeous, big, lovely castle. And that's really what this person needs to be focusing on. Focusing on the future, the good things, the magic ahead. But what he's doing is he's got his head bowed and he seems to be paying attention to those three cups that seem to have fell on the floor and they've got nothing left to give. So he feels like he's focusing on things in his life that don't serve him, things in his life that aren't there. He may be going over the past and going over things he wish he could change, when really he's got such a beautiful future ahead and so many blessings to be grateful for now. And you can see that with the two cups on the right, they're standing tall and they are filled with wondrous and joy, wonders and joy. So the thing that I love about this card is he's wearing that gorgeous blue kind of robe or cape and that's the energy and colour of Archangel Michael. So whenever we go through struggles, and we've all been in this position at some point in our lives, where we've been focused on what isn't there instead of what is there, these are the moments in our lives when Archangel Michael, the strength of heaven, comes into our life and says, get up soldier, get up warrior, you are a fighter, you can do this, you are strong and powerful, don't be the victim of your reality, be the victor of your reality. And fight for what you want. Look around you and see things from a higher point of view. Become aware of the many, many blessings in your life now to create many more later. Be proud of who you are and what you've achieved and what you've accomplished. Get up and fight for your life. And the angels surround this person with power. And that's what I feel with that aura around him. Can you see that kind of light aura around him there? That's him knowing that he may be a physical being in this world. He may be a physical human being, but he is a spiritual being having that human experience. And he has the power of heaven around him and that's glowing out of him. So he's taking control, he's starting to see. This person may be having time in solitude, time alone. Again, remember, it depends on what cards are aspected around it when you do the spread and the reading. If it comes up with the hanged man or the four of swords, you know there's a lot of deep thinking taking place and a lot of healing. If it comes up with the star or the eight of wands, we know things are changing. He's starting to see things from a much higher point of view. So it's always how you aspect the cards. And that's why as we've moved forward in the series, I'm not really showing you the reversals because I don't use reversals because the cards do it for you. The angels inspire you and your intuition shows you the truth. So this is showing you what he knows he needs to do is cleanse himself. And that's what that water is there for. So yes, the water is the indicator that this is connected with the energy of water, emotions, water signs, feelings, and love and power and things that come from within. But it's also about going through a cleansing. If he goes into that water and swims to the other side to get to that gorgeous castle, he's going to feel refreshed, revitalized and clean. He's going to feel cleansed. He's going to feel clear of the past and he's going to have more clarity about the future. And there's so many things happening around him to be grateful for. And on the horizon there, again, you can see the bridge. So there's also a way forward. He hasn't got to swim through that water Maybe he's afraid, he thinks that water is infested with sharks or things that are deadly. 
So he's in fear around what's next. But there's a beautiful white bridge there and the white energy is about purity. And it's about power and angelic assistance. So he's being guided. So if he turns around, not only will he see those gorgeous two full cups behind him, but he'll also see a bridge that will lead him to where he needs to go. And everything is a bridge to heaven, a bridge to better times, a bridge to our connection with source and remembering that we are source energy having a physical experience. So this is a sign that when we change our thinking, our life will change. So again, this is himself who's put himself in that position. It may have been outside circumstances that have caused him pain and sorrow and triggers, but only because he's allowed that in or he's allowed that to be, because nothing can affect us without our permission. Nothing can knock us down or knock us off our path without our permission. So another message that we change by changing our perception we change our life by changing the way we are thinking about our life. And we take control by knowing that we are safe, protected and guided by loving beings from other realms. That we are not alone. That we are protected by angels. And this is the realisation that he is in. So if this car comes up in a reading, we know something has to give. We have to take back our power and start looking at the good things in our life instead of the painful things because everything that's painful to us or hurting us in some way, it's growing us too. And we learn and grow. That's why we're here to evolve and transform on a soul level. Otherwise, why would we come? Why would we make all the effort to come into this physical world? We come here to grow and learn and from our higher self we know that, we understand that and we ac accept and appreciate that and we respect that too. So big message when this card comes up to change your perception, to start seeing things from a higher point of view and to focus on the blessings, not all the things that we need to leave behind. So don't focus on how stressed you are, focus on how blessed you are and that will give you power to move ahead our perception that creates our reality we always have a choice are we looking at things with the eyes of love or with the eyes of fear are we looking at life as a blessing and a joyous event and occasion or are we looking at it as painful and negative and a struggle so in this card you can see that the person is just bowing his head you know, he's focused on the negatives. He's focused on the cups that seem to be lying on the floor instead of the gorgeous two cups behind him that are full and rich. So this is a message that says, put your head up. You know, take another look at your situation. Start feeling like the victor of your reality instead of the victim. And again, it follows through from the four of cups because in the four of cups, there's that energy of frustration and boredom and anger and waiting for something to happen and when we're in that energy for long enough then we start feeling bad about our life and that's really what the five of cups is it's that focus on lack thinking about the things we might have had so this person may also be going over the past and stressing over the past thinking i wish things were different from my past I wish I'd have done things differently, said something differently. Maybe my life right now would have been differently but that or different. But that energy does not serve us. You know, when we're in the energy of power, focusing on the good, focusing on blessings, because there's always blessings there to be seen when we allow ourselves to see them, our life begins to change. And also the energy is everything is on the other side of fear. You know, you can see that gorgeous kind of house in the background there, that castle. And that's our dreams and desires. So this could be twin flame union. It could be that type of home that you want, the life that you want, the success that you want, the health that you want. And it's on the other side of this kind of river or this stream or this moat energy. So it's about knowing that we have to go through our emotions and our feelings and review everything to get where we want to be. So we do go through struggles, we do go through heartache and pain, but it all happens to grow our soul. Without that, who would we be? Our life would be boring and mundane if we didn't learn lessons, if we didn't have highs and lows, ups and downs, light and dark energy. 
So it's about understanding that we have the choice in any moment to choose love, to choose gratitude and understanding and focus on power. And that's really the energy here. So both twin flames can operate in this energy at different times. So from the divine masculine perspective here, he may be in a really painful situation, not only because he's not with you, you know, he may be away from you physically, emotionally, he's feeling drained. So he's missing you and wanting you and craving you and thinking about you on the other side of all of his fears. If only I can get there. If only I can do this. Am I strong enough? Dealing with his insecurity and fears. But he's actually looking around his life and he's seen all the things that seem miserable and painful and negative. He isn't realising that there's so many things he has to be grateful for in this moment right now. And one of those things is the love that you guys share. And that's always what I see with the cups because you've got the cup of the feminine's love, the cup of the masculine's love. It's not behind you. It's moving towards you. And it's with you in every moment. So this is the angel saying, get up, warrior, get up, soldier. You've got this. I've got you. Become the victor of your life, not the victim. So again, very similar energy as the Four of Cups. And sometimes those cards can come up together. So everything is on the other side of fear. So I see that stream as, you know, what the masculine needs to do to get to the other side. And he needs to cleanse himself. So when we get baptised, we fully immerse ourselves in water to cleanse ourselves of the past. And the masculine needs to cleanse himself of the past to get to union. And also the feminine needs to cleanse themselves of the past too. Because as a feminine, we can be holding on to pain and struggle. And things the masculine has said, things the masculine has done. Or struggle around the situation. And we have to forgive all of that, including ourselves. So this is also a card that says forgive and heal. Let go, breathe, focus on the good things let go of the drama. So whenever we go into this energy where we feel that things can't get any better, you know, we feel like we're going to be stuck in the same situation forever, or we're going into doubt, and we're going over how bad everything is in our mind, we may be having worst case scenarios created by the ego about the future, we may be going over the past, and just wallowing in things, it's a message from heaven to come back into the now, to come into the moment so that things can start clicking into place. And then we realise that we always have a choice. Choose to focus on the good, not the bad. Choose to focus on the positive, not the negative, because there's always a positive to be found. Sometimes we have to look a bit closer and a little bit harder, but we always find it in the end. So the energy really around the five of cups is feeling lost, needing help, needing to talk to the angels and knowing that we are never alone. You are not alone. So the angels come to us in our times of need and say, you are not alone. So if this card comes up with the hanged man or any, you know, energies that are creating reflection or healing, there's a great healing going on. And the divine masculine is going through a healing. So this is about sending love to them through the senses, the heart space, the 5D, because they're not alone. And if you're feeling this way, Divine Feminine, when you have these moments and you get out of them very quickly, especially when you're realising you were safe, you're protected by angels, there's nothing to fear. When you go through those moments, you know the angels are right by your side and you can count on them to assist you. So the Feminine says, I am learning to see past the pain. And it's so true. That's what we do on this journey. We learn to see past the pain because pain is illusion. It's only real if we allow it to be. And we can experience that pain and say, what is this pain showing to me? What is it teaching me about me? How can I grow from this lesson? And the lesson is to focus on the blessings, to remain optimistic and hopeful and positive and to focus on faith. And whenever we go into doubt, ask ourselves why. What are we doubting? Are we doubting ourselves, our twin, the love, the universe? What are we actually doubting right now? And allow that to give you faith. And that's when we see signs. And the masculine saying, I don't want to lose you. 
So he's in that energy where he may be struggling to make changes or he's in fear, but he's also afraid of losing you, Divine Feminine, because he knows that if he doesn't get his act together soon, you just might move on. So he's facing lots of fears, not just about his situation, what he needs to change and how he can get to the other side to get to your union, but also how he can not lose you along the way. So he's saying, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to be with anybody else. I belong with you. And the angel's saying, you're not alone. Your divine feminine is always with you. So if you're feeling lost, you are really found. So when we go through those moments where we feel lost, we find ourselves. Those are the moments when we go within, the moments where you may be in separation or maybe you've been blocked by your twin or ghosted and you feel like the world is over. You know, you feel like you, you, it, there's no way you can go on. You don't know what to do and you pick yourself up because there's nowhere to go but within. And we go within to harness our power, to remember who we are, to connect with our true self. And that's when we pick ourselves up and start to get. So the feminine is saying, I am willing and learning, I'm willing to learn and I am learning to see past the pain, to understand that what is hurting me is growing me and teaching me and allowing me to become the observer of my life. And the pain is showing the divine masculine when they go within the truth that they don't want to be without you, they don't want to lose you and they need to take action to move things forward in their life. And that's when they do, because the Six of Cups, which we're going to be doing on Monday, is all about reunion and coming back together. So we have to go through the darkness to find the light. You know, separation is preparation. We go through the struggles and the time away to really appreciate each other more. So when you do come together, it's just amazing and it's worth it all. And we learn so much in these struggle periods when we go through the pain, when we go through the doubt and the loss, because that's how we find ourselves. That's how we find our faith. That's how we connect with the creator. That's how we connect with the truth of this love. It's unconditional. And we can't put conditions on an unconditional love. So the feminine and the masculine will both experience pain on this journey in different ways, but the result will always be the same. All paths lead home. So wherever you go, whatever you do, know that you're already on the journey back to each other and it's all taking place now. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.